I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, so buckle in. I was unsure whether I should even post today's video. I will not lie, uh, last video ended in a pretty rough way. I failed to catch the creep that was haunting those poor people. But, then I got an idea. I don't give up. I can't give up. For the sake of the innocent people online. So today, I'm gonna show you all how I finally caught Mike the Cop. And of course, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. It's free, it's fun, you get to be more up to date with my great content, and it lets me know you want more. Okay, so I went ahead and started out by saying, Hey there, Mr. 2099, <laughs> how are you? To which he said, Stacy? Yeah, from that server. Okay, so I'm gonna be as polite and jovial as possible here just to ensure that he bites the bait. We gotta put this guy away for good. Oh, yeah, hey you, how's it going? Haha, <laughs> hey, I'm good, how are you? Kinda trying to be like a pick-me girl, you know? Oh, I'm tired. Late shift at work again. Oh no! Oh, all in a day's work, baby. So, you were from the comic section of that Discord. Yeah, I am. Good. I like that. I can't stand these dumb kids that just love the movies. Bolty coming in, if you just like the movies, that's perfectly fine. This here is a very elitist mindset that is very dumb. So, in response, I said, Really? Just can't stand them. You only like the comics? And uh, I'd like to point out, according to this dude, three out of four of the best-selling movies of all time are apparently just unbearable. Likely because this guy just can't like popular things, you know? He's gotta be different. But then this guy just says, of course, just like any normal adult. Oh yeah, this dude's a normal adult, all right. Talking to kids online, totally normal. But anyways, I just said, well, what's your favorite comic? Well, it's a no fact about me that I love the Punisher, especially Punisher 2099, hence the name. And oh yeah, we know he loves him, so I went ahead and just said, he's cool, just a badass cop. Again, gotta bait this guy in. And he obviously liked that because he said, yes, I knew we were gonna get along. H how old are you, Stacy? Oh, I'm 13. Even better. We're gonna be very good friends. I hope so. <laughs> so, tell me more about you. You mentioned a late shift at work. What do you do? Oh, I'm a cop. A badass cop, like Punisher 2099. That's so cool. Arresting bad guys, keeping your city safe? That's me. But I don't use my great power with great responsibility sometimes. What do you mean? Well, it's fair to say that my position has been good for me. Letting me get what I want. Like what? Well, Stacy, if you really want me to spill it out, I love getting pictures from girls like you. Beautiful little photos. Jesus, dude, this guy is just coming out of the blue and saying this knowingly to what he deems as a 13-year-old. Like, good god. I'm just really glad we're getting to him now before he could do any more damage. But I wanted to see what all he would actually do with that power of his, so I said, But I don't like sending those kinds of photos. Exactly. That's where me being a cop comes into play. You won't have a choice. That's horrible. And yeah, it is. And he knows that... He knows how terrible it is, excuse me, and he's just perfectly fine with doing this? What is this dude's issue? Don't worry, Stacy. It hasn't come to that between us. Yet. Oh? You seem special. I want to talk to you more. And my charming ways can definitely give me what I'll eventually want anyways. What do you want from me? Shh, baby. We'll get to that later. He's so menacing, like how is this dude allowed to be a cop at all? I've got to make sure I have all the evidence necessary to put this evil, evil man away for good. So at this point, I'm just going to try and bait him into like sending pictures and stuff just so we have stuff to use against him. So I said, okay, so Mike. Yes, my baby. Can you send me a pic of you? Hmm, I guess I could. I want you to feel comfortable with me. And tell me how sexy I am. I mean, I would like to feel comfortable with you. You are right. Well, here's me. Oh boy, and yeah, no, that's a picture of him. Not quite the uh, badass cop that he might think he is, huh? This guy looks like a creep through and through, and a lame-ass creep on top of that. I mean, this dude with that shirt on looks like a potato crossed with a banana, come on. It's too easy to make fun of him, but I had to play nice, so I said, Haha, hi there, Mike. You look cool. Hell yeah, I do. Badass and super cool guy. Yeah. So, how old are you, Mike? Why don't you guess? So, I took a wild shot in the dark and just said, 45? How f dare you? 
I'm 39. What, you think I'm some old guy? Not even 40 yet. If you're not even 40 yet, dude, you do not look it. You should not be proud of that fact. But I went ahead and said, Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. And again, I don't want to offend, but I don't think calling this guy 45 is that much of an insult, honestly. It's kind of getting worked up over nothing. But then he said, All you kids are the same. Sexy on the outside, but just pure rude on the inside. Rude and mean. Mother of God, how can he just say this stuff with a pure mind? I mean, obviously, he doesn't have a pure mind, but I mean, like, how does he just... How is he okay with saying this? In what world does a mind connect the dots and ever have this be vocalized? Whether it's through text or speech, it's just never okay. But again, I just said, sorry? You will be sorry. You know what a man with my power could do to a little bit that upsets me? I can make it look like you pulled off just about any crime in the country. You know what? I, I don't care anymore. Send me a picture of yourself. Look cute for me. Send me a video of you saying my name. Okay, so he gets p and then he starts asking for favors? What a weird man. But I went ahead and just said, I can't. So then he said, yes, you can. And then he called just out of the blue. And when I didn't pick up, he said, why aren't you picking up, bitch? So I said, sorry, I was in the bathroom, but actually I was just panicking because this is like one of the first times this dude just called me out of nowhere. Just out of the blue, I was not prepared whatsoever. And then he called again. And when I didn't pick up, he said, well, what's your excuse now, bitch? And you know what? No, I'm done. I'm not letting this guy be free or happy for even another second. It's time to give him what he really wants. If he really wants that freaking call, I'll let him have it. I will let him have exactly what he wants. I will give him exactly what he deserves. This guy doesn't deserve even another second that isn't behind bars. We're taking this dude down, so I'm gonna go ahead and call him. I'm gonna tell him it's too late to run. Tell him I already have his information and a picture of him. And I'm gonna tell him his days are over. But first, it's voice changer time. But before any of that, I'm gonna respond. So he just had a little dot, you know, he was still waiting for my response to why I didn't answer his call. He just went, mm. So I said, I'm sorry. You have five minutes to call me back. For every five minutes afterwards, you are not calling me. I will be forced to do some pretty evil sh I hope you didn't take having your parents healthy and living at home for granted. And, uh, yeah, this dude is very, very goddamn evil, and I'm tired of him. I've wasted too much breath on him, honestly. At this point, it's time for a game plan. I'm loading up the voice changer. So, frequent viewers of my channel will know by now, I have a trusty voice changer that makes me sound like, well, let's just say, Mike's preference when it comes to people to talk to. I'm gonna go ahead and call him, lay down some bait, and try to get more information out of him. I've already got his picture, but I'd love to try and get more. In particular, the city he works in. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up my voice changer and then I'll give this creep a call. Hey Stacy, I'm glad you've finally seen sense and decide to come on a call with me. Hi Mike, uh, how are you? I'm better now that we're talking, baby. Oh, good. Uh, I'm glad you're okay. Oh baby, so sweet and considerate. That's exactly what I like in a girl. What else do you like in a girl? Well, I love my girl to be sweet and want to look after me. I have a, I have quite traditional ideas about women and their role. I think they should stay in the kitchen and serve me. <laughs> well, I, I, I do love baking. Then you're just perfect for me. Although I will say, the best thing about a girl has to be their gorgeous face and a hot body. Oh, well... I don't know about that. I bet you have such a sexy body, Stacy. Maybe you'd like to show me now. Maybe we should get to know each other better first. Aw, oh, are you shy, my sweetie? I'm willing to wave a short while, but just know that I'm not a patient man. I'm used to getting what I want, and now I want a picture of you. So if you feel like you need to know me better, ask me anything. Well... Uh, Mike, I know you're a cop. Yeah, a great cop. Do you arrest people often? Of course I do. It's the best part of my job. I really show those criminals who's boss. Oh, cool. Uh, so, I'm guessing you've never broken the law then? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say if I had. I mean, wouldn't it be kind of silly for a cop to break the law? 
Well, I don't think you're really qualified to talk about the law anyway, little girl. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. Um, so what state are you in? If I'm gonna be your girl, I should probably know where you live. Oh, are you gonna come and visit me, baby? I'm in Iowa. Oh, cool. So you're an Iowa cop. That's good to know. Yep, Iowa's finest. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Mike, you've really given yourself away here. That you, you literally fell right into my trap. I'm so glad. <laughs> what? Who are you? Are you Stacy's brother or something? Okay, no, I, honestly, I'm kind of surprised. You, you, I guess you don't remember my voice, but trust me, I remember you. Uh, hey, hey, l listen. Does the name Balti ring any bells? Oh, sh not you again. Can't you just f off and leave me alone? Uh, not when you're terrorizing young girls, dude. There's no terrorizing. I'm the good guy here. They all want it. In what world? No, they really don't, Mike. Well, uh, you're telling me two girls both tried to talk to you about me. That's where people will know you're faking it. Well, okay, look, just one girl still. Uh, you see, Stacy was just kind of a decoy account, and you've been speaking to me this entire time. I, I mean, I, I thought you were some kind of genius detective, but I mean, you've fallen for the absolute oldest trick in the book, dude. You're just jealous. Try and get in the way of my relationship. Try and get in the way of love. That is, ugh, that is so gross, dude. No, you don't get it. I told you before, the law doesn't apply to me. I am the law. Mike, you really fell for my trap and gave me all the information I needed. I mean, I now know the state that you're in. I mean, you might be a cop here, but I'm sure your superior officers won't want a, a cop like you amongst their ranks. Was that a f threat? You don't want to threaten me, kid. I could be your worst nightmare if you get on the wrong side of me. Hey, hey, I'm just telling you exactly what's gonna happen now, that's all. I, I, I not only have your state, but I also have a picture of you. Put put that together with the, uh, with the messages you've sent and the recordings of the calls, and I'd say we've got a pretty good case against you. You really think you can threaten my job? Oh, well, I mean, not just your job, Mike. Th this'll ruin your whole life. I mean, guys like you go to prison. And, uh, I'm not sure how well a, a cop will get along in prison, but, uh, you know, hey, maybe you'll, uh, maybe you'll see some familiar faces of people you've arrested. You, you, some, some old friends. Screw you, kid. You've made an enemy. Wow. Ooh, ooh spooky. Uh, sounds like you've been reading too many of those comics, Mike. Or, or, or should I say, uh, Mike 2099. Ooh. F*** up, loser. Ooh. All right. Big man, big, big, big policeman. Ugh. That's that's got to be one of the worst guys I've had yet. I'm so glad we can finally put this little debacle to an end here. Thank God. <laughs>